Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 232 of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. I believe this will be our last uh, our last recording for this game. The reason is that we have we have encountered all kinds of instability in the game, in encounters and everything which after playing about 20 to 30 minutes will get a crash in the game and that has been initially very irritating but then it just became harder and harder to play the game because the crashes just wipes out all the uh, progression we have because we just have to reload back from where we last saved so and as a consequence we have been saving very often like so every half an hour, we I try to save the game, and then when there's a crash, well, and I've reported all the crashes that we've in encountered, and so uh, that means we just have to repeat what we have just done. Anyway, uh, the last straw for me was when the crash happened after. Uh, no crashes also start happening when I try to save. So that means we cannot even save. So by saving, we cause I cause the game to crash, and therefore, well, I'm back to where the last save was. So it has gotten to that point, and I think you know it's it's just really not playable. And so I have in a I'm in the course of trying to reduce the garrison uh, numbers that we have because uh, our cost is getting really ridiculous meaning it's so much it's costing so much points uh, I mean uh, cost wise it's very high to maintain the garrisons in all of our uh, towns and castles that we are not making that much money so in this game we have learned how to make money primarily from smithing and we have learned a lot of money in terms of trading too and so we have had uh, successes in those regards. And if we look at our, hold on, let me, let's just get rid of the stuff that we're trying to sell here. So all of these, like here, we, yeah, these are like, uh, beer is good uh, at 50. And flax is just okay. Date fruit now. Uh, wool, we can sell some wool here. Hides, tools, oh, tools are very good. So we can, we, we can buy more tools here and then we can go elsewhere and sell them so so we're getting some a, a good hang of how the game uh, works and where we can make trading worth its while and where um, where smithy is also very good for us uh, okay hogs like hogs is a great deal for us here but we're not so much into trading here as we're trying to reduce the amount of cost that is hitting us every every day. I wish the cost is back to what it was in on a weekly basis, but no, that's that's how this game is constructed, and so we will have we we are required to play it based on how the game is. Oh, why is wine here so cheap? We cannot sell it. Sell it. Uh, so they have a brewery, they have a smithy, a pottery shop. We own the pottery shop, and I think we can barely, we can we cannot make money here. Okay, we can we can sell the uh, the crafted. Ooh, we're running out of crafted. Uh, yeah, we're running out of crafted items. Um, Anyway, we still I think we still have a bunch of items we can sell that is worth something, right? Yeah, like these things. These are yeah. We will I will do that when we get to a town where we can level up our troops by contributing the stuff to them. But uh wait, we will sell the oh no, okay. So that's over a thousand bucks. Like this. One four. 
one five we can sell this that and that and so we're back to up uh, oh we have so oh what is causing us to be so heavy let's check i think maybe we have a bunch of uh oh meat we have a lot of meat and we have oh we have a tremendous amount of grain okay 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 uh grain here is okay not cheap okay let's let's go consider it done with that one ouch and also uh and then we can go to the keep here let's manage the town because we will we are we need to focus all of our into making militia because uh, we are going to reduce the amount of uh, garrison we have in this place. So right now, our garrison, yeah, we even with uh, not doing festival and games, because uh, we, you know, we still have like plus two in loyalty. So it makes so much sense to concentrate all our castles and towns on producing militia. Militia doesn't cost money; they don't eat any food, and so we can. Uh, drastically so if we are increasing our militia by three this will go up to about about 500 so if we keep a garrison of maybe 300 we should be okay 500 militia plus a garrison uh, okay let's check our garrison uh, we have well, these are oh, we have training yeah we have training troops here so we can train more troops here we can give these guys over why do they jump all the way to the top uh imperial cataphracts right uh 485 so we have asteroid infantry we have oh these are all our training troops that are talking about i was talking about Valadian champions, uh, our imperial legionaries, uh, sharpshooters, uh, Batanian Fian champions. You know we're not using them the uh, that much. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of them. I have been getting rid of our Batanian Fian champions. I think they are very good out in the field but uh, and maybe some of the legionaries these are expensive troops um, how about a foxman veteran foxman minavlians Let's get rid of the Manavians or no no let's get rid of the Foxman. So we're down to four hundred. Okay, that will give us uh if we uh yeah, if we look at our so we will have 795 people in it, 400 garrison, and hopefully we will have 500 militia by by the time we uh, by the time the militia maxes out. So here we'll just get rid of all the troops we have. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Uh, Batanian Fian champions. We have not been using them much. Oh, we have just have better knights left. Wow. And um, so what I want to do is continue to go through all of our castles and um, try to reduce them as much as possible. And if it leads to a crash, I guess that's it. So anyway, this is a farewell episode. And I'm letting you guys know ahead of time so that uh, you, you won't see any more coming out. In terms of winning the Empire, we are in the strongest position. We can take on any group, any faction, at, uh, and then wipe them out over time. However, uh, you know, I've been playing a slow game, and I'm waiting for one faction to go up another against another faction. 
and it makes us so much easier to conquer the other factions. So I, that's why in this case, I'm hoping for the either the Valandians to fight the uh, Asurai or fight the uh, Southern Empire. So if that's the case, what I want to do is get them into uh, get their primary forces uh, liquidated after, if they go up against a major faction like the Southern Empire or the Asurai and then we will wipe out the Valandians so that that area here will be all clear we we will not have any danger here all the castles here will not have to be uh, will not have to be uh, garrisoned that well and we can give it to our vassals and they will not have that problem of of having minor uh, minor garrisons and militias and anyway so that will that's a backdoor so I would love to get the Valandias out of the way or I would also want to see the Kuzates go to war with either the Southern Empire which they have been doing so much so so often and when we do that and when they do that what I would like to do is clear up the map up here so that we can hopefully get the Kuzates down to about th three or four towns and then once we have taken down the Valandians or the Asarai but both of them yeah both of them out of the picture are the Kuzates and then I'll come down and take over the S Asarai before tackling the uh, Southern Empire. The Southern Empire is still very strong and it has it was able to take advantage of our wiping out take advantage of our wiping out the um, uh, the Western Empire oh I for a while I thought yeah because actually Zionica is ours in is within our realm it's just that the the vassal that holds Zionica and Amitatis uh, and Sano, San, San, Saniopa and Dayatma, they are all green. So we're all green, right? Uh, the the Southern Empire, oh yeah, I, I almost forgot. The Southern Empire do not have the green banner. They have the blue color, but they don't have the green banner. I like Zionica, Amitatis, and uh, Dayatma and Saniopa, they all have the green banner. So they are part of our vassals. So, like, when we were taking these Western Empire, the people, you know, the <laughs> Southern Empire took advantage and jumped like Carrion. Uh, oh, Maesa, they took it back from the Kuzates. The Maesa was also pure previously with the Kuzates. So, anyway, uh, right now we can take on any one faction and we can defeat them. Uh, but it will take a lot of we will take a lot of casualties so I prefer that they go up against another faction waste most of their primary principal strength before we go take them on it's like the Western Empire was the most powerful faction among our competitors you know they were stronger than the Valandians they always whipped the Valandians they have had multiple encounters with the Valandians and they whipped the Asurai right they they came all the way down to Kuyas and they took over up to this castle here and they were almost closing on Sanala and so they have and we we were able to whip them because uh, they spent most of their principal strength against the Valandians and somewhat the Asurai and somewhat the Southern Empire so we we were very opportunistic doing it and that would be a good constant play so here uh, what I'm trying to do is try to minimize our cost so that because that is the biggest point that we have at this point in time that we cannot uh, so right now yeah we look at our daily change we're under about 32,000 that's not really correct we're about 40,000 in terms of daily hits to us so uh, I would like I would like to keep it under 30,000 before we go to war because uh, our current uh, money is only 14.9 million so we don't have that much money so going around raising cash uh, minimizing our expenses would be the next phase that I want to do 
before going on all out war with any specific faction so but going through that you know it's not a very interesting process and uh if we have and 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 if if i will encounter more and more saving crashes that is not uh something i look forward to doing so anyway um so in a way this is uh the last episode for this hopefully uh the developers will have a massive like a uh, I, I believe there will be a massive upgrade or fix to the uh instability of the game once they have done that uh, i will definitely come back and play the game again and we will finish it uh, in, a, in a way, in, be I, I will, in between other games, I might come back and actually continue to do what I was thinking of reducing our cost by minim minimizing our garrison cost and then also building up our war chest. Hopefully, I'm trying to get it back up to above 20 million before we do anything else. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Uh, the next episode, I think I intend to play a new game. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for being uh, supportive of me until this part on this game. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.